children today we will learn to do subtraction up to 40 without borrowing Gaffy wants to plan a surprise party for her father's birthday she goes to her mother and says mom i want to throw dad a surprise birthday party oh wow gaffy this is a very good idea why don't we decorate the room with balloons Yes mom it will be fun Gaffy and her mother begin to inflate the balloons She inflated 48 balloons out of which 15 balloons popped Gaffy we inflated 48 balloons out of which 15 balloons burst Can you tell me how many inflated balloons we have now Mom to find the answer we will have to do the subtraction First of all, we will write the numbers in horizontal form. That is, writing the numbers in the sleeping line. First, we subtract the numbers in the units place. Five subtracted from eight is three. We write it here. Next, we will subtract tens number. Four minus one is three. We will write it here like this. So, forty-eight. Minus fifteen is equal to thirty-three. Mama, we can also solve this by arranging these numbers vertically. That is, by writing them in vertical rows. First, we subtracted the numbers in the units place. Five subtracted from eight is three. We write it here. Next, we will subtract numbers in tens place. One subtracted from four is three, so forty-eight minus fifteen is equal to thirty-three. Mom, we have thirty-three balloons in total. Well done, Gaffy. Children, now it's your turn to solve this problem. Gaffy invited thirty-nine people to the party, but only twenty-five people could come to the party. Can you tell how many people did not attend the party? You can subtract numbers by writing them in horizontal form. Or you can also subtract them by writing them in the vertical form. Find out and share your answers with your family and friends. Children, in this video, we learned to do subtraction up to 40 without borrowing.